Hi, Anthony here. This is a follow-on from the Flappy Bounce from last week. Don't need that, but it's up here if you want to see. Anyway, this week we're doing scene management, and it's a bit of a long one, but there's a lot here that you can pick up, so just skip through to bits and pieces and find what you like, and hope you like the video. Okay, so we're going to set up a new scene. We're going to call it Menu, and we're going to change our sample scene, or what we've been working till now, to Level 1. Um, then we'll go through and set up our menu. We'll, we'll make it just a little bit pretty. So obviously, put some time and effort into this. This is this is just to kind of make it a little bit more than nothing. We'll call it cool game. Um, we'll change the back color a bit lighter so we can see cool game. Um, we're gonna make it a bit bigger so you can read it. We'll put a we've got to put a button in here. This is part of the whole scene changing thing. And we'll put play. And we'll change the color to green. I, I like a green play button. Make it a bit bigger. There we go. And this is the most important thing. In build settings, we need to put the menu in here. So we've got this. Menu is zero and level one is number one so they're the build that's the build scenes and in our menu we're going to call a menu manager and we'll add that to the canvas and this is where we have to start doing stuff so using scene manager that's what has to go in every scene please subscribe guys really appreciate it and then we'll do a public void and we'll call it play button so if we didn't have the using C in unity engine scene manager we can't access this so we need this scene manager dot load scene and we're going to load it by name so we'll put in menu uh, no level one sorry and then this is one way that this is all going to work we'll go back to unity and on our button we just have to set up the button first and drag the canvas in there and we can access that menu manager script now and play button. So it's going to load scene one when we hit play. Bang. But what about if you want to load it by build index? So you've got level one is build index one. So let's go back here and we can change it to instead of that we'll put one and we'll get the same result but just showing you that there's two different ways to call it a scene so yeah that worked as well but what about if you've got a big scene now sometimes you want to load a scene and then make it open that way if it's a big scene it's it's got some loading time so that's where we got this um a sync operator and what we do is make it so it loads a scene as an additive additive and we've got to make it so the it's going to be allowed activation is set to false. Allow scene activation is set to false. And we've also got to comment out the scene management so that, that the other one doesn't load. Now what will happen now is it's not going to load the sec it's going to load the second scene but not open the second scene. See, it's loaded in there, but it's not open. So, if the when the game, 
we'll make it so when the game starts it loads it and then when we play press play it will actually go and open that scene and to do that what we're going to do is move this part up into the start we're going to have to um we'll get we'll just comment that out and we're going to have to make that into a variable so we can access it and then we just put this to true and when we do this now it will go and load it and then when you hit play it's true but see it hasn't got rid of the menu scene now we can't get rid of the menu scene from a script in the menu scene we have to get rid of the menu screen from a, a script in a, a different it, part of the scene the level scene so we're gonna put uni, using unity engine scene manager and then when the actual level one starts it's gonna go scene manager and then we're gonna unload um, scene async we can't do it the unload scene is um, depreciated now so that's why we're using the async and we'll call it by zero which is the menu scene and now when we hit play that's loaded and when we hit play it's going to go through and it got rid of our menu so we're going to have it so when it hits the box it's going to load the next scene and that, this is what we're going to try and work to now and so I'm going to make a UI thing here that says game over and then when it when the ball hits that box it's going to bring up this game over game object uh, UI canvas and then it'll load the next scene so that's what we're going to work towards now this is going to be a little bit of mucking around but we'll we'll add the the game over text just got to make everything official otherwise you don't know it's game over um we'll move it up here and what we're gonna do is turn that off so it's not in our scene um and then we'll go back to our Oh, we're gonna we'll clean up this file. I'll move the menu manager here and I'm gonna create another script which is gonna be called the canvas manager and this is gonna go in the level one scene and it's just gonna manage the the canvas in the, the level scenes. So we'll drag that and drop it onto the canvas here. If I can drag it and drop it onto the canvas. And then we'll get make a public void oh, sorry, public game object which we'll call um, game over. And I think we'll just delete these. Now, what's going to happen is when the box collider, when it hits a box collider, it's going to have to call the canvas manager. So we need to be able to access it from here. Uh, this is going back a couple of um, tutorials ago. We did crossing over things. So you, it should be all aware of this but we put the canvas manager um, just call it canvas and the canvas dot we'll go back to the canvas manager because we haven't actually made a public void now and we'll call that game over And what will happen is in this game when it hits this, it's going to call this game over, and that's that's what's going to trigger the next scene to go. 
So game over dot set active. That will make that that we turned off. Um, if we set it to true, that will turn on that canvas that we just made. And so now we can go back to the box collider and we can go canvas dot game over. And that that's how that will all work. Um, so we're going to go back to Unity and save level one. Um, we've got to drag the canvas onto our box collider so it knows what to do as we did in the crossing thing. And what we're doing is making a second scene now. So we'll make it scene two. And we'll change the color of the box so we so you can see that it is a new scene. We'll make it purple and we'll make the canvas let's make it a terrible brown, browny, yellowy, terrible. So we know that's level two looks like that. And so it should go from one through to two. But we're gonna to have to add obviously using Unity Engine dot Um, scene manager and we'll put it well we don't want it to activate straight away so we're going to make an I enumerator this is how you can actually make something pause for a particular a particular period of time so We'll call it wait. It's similar to like a void, but it's an enumerator. And in enumerator, you can have a yield return new wait for seconds. And what that will do is, as it says, wait for, we're going to put one in there. So after one second, it will load the next scene. That's what we're going to have. But we've got to work out what the next scene is. So we'll work out what number that is by making an int called next scene and equals scene manager dot get um we're gonna call it get active scene dot build index um plus one and that will give us the next scene the, of the next scene build index so then we can go after one second load next scene um, or load scene next scene and that will hopefully give us the next scene loaded we've got to add obviously scene two in here you can just do it by adding open scene so one two and three and they're all lined up in our build index, we'll start with our menu. We'll play. Have we got a bug? Yes, we have. What did I do wrong? Oh, that's not going to work. Just delete that out and save, and we'll try again. So we'll go play and hit that and um, what bug is this? Okay, so in our canvas, we didn't add the next uh, we didn't add the game over. So we're going to have to go to level 1 and level 2 and we're going to add the game over which is um, to our canvas manager. So that way it can bring up that game over UI when we hit the block box and we hit play and here we go bang game over and it should load number two what have I done wrong now okay I've forgotten jeez I'm, I didn't turn on the weight enumerator so to do that you put start chord 
dot white uh, um, weight and that will open the I enumerator and now we should we should be going now Let, let's go and get this going so you hit play yes yeah, bang next yes next level um okay so when we closed our menu in the move dot it's trying to close it again when we get to level two. So to stop that, we're going to make sure we find it. Um, the um, not seen loaded, um, get seen active. It's going to have to be, I think. Um, we we'll just add that there. Hang on, we'll go back and fix this. So we'll go back. Um, it's going to be um, get get scene uh, yeah get active scene dot build index. If it equals zero, then it will then close that. But if there's no um, scene equaling zero, which so if the menu scene's not open, it's not going to try and close it. Now let's see. Yes. Yes, but now we get the error because we don't have a scene three. So we're going to have to put it in here. We're going to have to find out if the next scene is available. And to do that, we will put in an if statement. I'm trying to work out how many, um, how many scenes are in the game versus the next scene so you see management dot um uh, scene count will tell me how many scenes there are is less than or equal to next scene um and so if it's less than or equal to the next scene then it will do this otherwise we'll go back to um menu the menu scene that's how we're going to set this up um we'll wait for one second first and then we'll go back to the menu scene and that is obviously zero so if it does, if there's no scene three, it's going to go back to there, and we'll do this again. Are we working? And one, and two, and error. Okay. So, oh, I put these the wrong way around. It should be: is the next scene less than or equal to the scene count? Not that way. And we'll have to add a one to it as well. So we'll get rid of that. Um, and we'll change it around the other way. The scene dot count. Um, scene count and plus one, because I think we're going to get that that should work and here we go one two and back I hope that helps you out with the scene manager it's a fantastic thing in unity I'm gonna keep doing these videos so do subscribe um, stick around we'll see where we go next week and thanks for watching